Hi, I'm Heather Murray, and uh, welcome to this little mini workshop of how to use a paper concertina style um, to use your own old um, discards, work that you didn't love, um, pages from your sketchbook that you've torn out. Um, I have a hard time throwing things away, so what I do is uh, cut things up and uh, try to conserve some of the pieces I think I might be able to use later. Um, you can use what plain watercolor paper, cardstock, whatever you like, um, and just fold your concertina however you like to. Um, the idea here is to mishmash some of your favorite images or your less favorite images. Um, for me, I, I separate my cuttings, my little collage bits, uh, into backgrounds, um, subject matter, and uh, potential accents, and look at it that way, and lay them out in the concertina pages in a way that I think might be pleasing. The next step is super easy. Um, I use PVC glue for this, uh, this project because some of my papers were rather heavy, but um, in this case, um, you can choose. I, I use gel medium, matte medium as well, but I knew that they wouldn't stick with this. So I just got a little playful and, uh, and as you can see, I work very fast. I don't think about it too much and it becomes more of a stream of consciousness kind of exercise as opposed to, uh, something that you have to think out and plan and do very, um, accurately. It, this is why I didn't even concentrate on the measuring with you. That's totally up to you. Um, I think the main idea is to try to get the pages um, of your concertina basically the same size. I worked with about five inches because I had a 15 inch um, piece of uh, watercolor, uh, probably around a hundred pound paper. And uh, so that works pretty well. And um, because this is a fun exercise, this is to get you going and to get you creating. Um, sometimes when we work a little faster, we do, um, we come up with more spontaneous art and it surprises us. Um, I love the idea of working with discards because um, you think, oh, I'll never look at that page or I'll never use it again. But often there's just one little piece of it that you're drawn to. And I didn't use any drawing or painting afterwards with this. This project just took me a little, I'm not sure, I might have worked on it about a half an hour to an hour tops. Um, you can spend more time, you can draw, you can paint into it if you like, but this is to show you the bare bones, that you can make something truly beautiful from what pieces of a piece of art you made that you weren't too fond of. Uh, now I can't actually put canvas on these unless I worked with canvas uh, paper, or something like that. But um, I'm talking about my paper art and some of you, if you do collage and mixed media, might have lots of little scraps anyway. I think it works better if there are things that, they're, if there are bits and pieces of work that you've done already, rather than using somebody else's um, scraps. But in saying that, there's no reason in the world why you can't collage using, using magazine photos or other um, little bits of images that you've collected also, because it'll look just as interesting, I think. Um, um, this is more just a recycling kind of exercise, and also just to get you going with something that isn't too precious, because as we get more precious about our art, um, it tends to hold us back. And the idea is um, definitely for the way I'm going forward is to try to encourage you to make. And sometimes the making process um, happens a lot more fluidly when you're not putting a lot of thought into it. Um, I was actually surprised at my own uh, output. I had no idea when I was, I didn't pre-plan at all. I saved my scraps later, put them in a little cellophane bag because I may use them again. Um, I did also a second uh uh, concertina book um, using um, more pages from the other one was from actual little paintings and my second one which will be coming up soon I made from um, basically journal pages that I've been working on during the pandemic and you know I didn't really there are sketches there are little watercolor experimentations and I didn't love them 
And I could have left them in the sketchbook. I mean, that's fine too. But I thought it might be fun just to cut them out um, to size, which means you know cutting out portions of your sketches. And uh, again, trying to put them together in a pleasing manner. I kept it sort of thematic here with flowers, um, but you can do whatever you like with it. It's the same. The first one was more of a nature um, exercise as well. And sometimes that helps to keep you focused when you're selecting drawings or old paintings or pieces of them. And uh, just finally, just to make, it's just get your supplies out and get messy. I think you'll uh, enjoy the process and I encourage you to continue to make more. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little class. Bye for now.